Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another studio vlog. Today I have been doing bits of work on the website and I've also designed a new collection. You also saw me do some planning this morning. I've been trying to set my planner up at the start of the week so that I don't fall behind using it. Um, so far so good, but it has literally been like eight hours, so. I think that will work better for me and like worst case, even if I don't get any full boxes down or like sidebar or anything, if I can get the check boxes in, that will be like the crucial part. So that's what I'm hoping to be able to achieve. <laughs> as I said, I've been doing some work on the website and I took a few photos that I want to use as like promotional pictures for the homepage. I'm really hoping to have the new site up by the end of the week. I don't know why I call it a new site because it's literally just like a slightly tweaked theme. It's the same theme, it's just like I changed a few colours and I'm hoping to change the layout of the homepage. I also need to release my monthly collection this week and I would like to design the March mystery kit. So, lots to be getting on with. So, I ended up doing the new website stuff. Um, I wasn't going to do it today, but you know when you just feel like inspired to do something? I thought I would make use of the inspiration and do the website today. I'll do a screen recording so you can see properly rather than having to look at my screen through my camera. But I've just got a slideshow at the top. I've changed all the navigation. This is called a mega menu, I think and it actually shows you like more options than a normal main menu would do, so I've added that. I've got some products a bit further down, but the whole website is not just full of products, which is how it was before, which is what I was not happy with. I've got some pictures showing collections, but these are kind of more promotional shots, and I don't feel like they're quite as salesy as they were in the past. I've got a little section to invite people to join my mailing list, and then I've got an Instagram widget, and then finally just a little bit about me. So I feel like it's more kind of introducing the brand instead of just being like, here is every single thing I sell, which was my problem with the old website. So yeah, I'm really pleased that I've got that done. Hi guys, I'm sorry I didn't check in with you yesterday. I ended up having a really busy design day, which was great, but I didn't have time to pick up the camera pretty much at all. I'm gonna have a big cutting day today. I'm sure you guys know from like previous vlogs, I'm like a big fan of batch production, so I tend to do all my designing, then all my cutting and stuff like that. So today is a big cutting day, but I did wanna show you some of the new designs because I have a new range coming out. I do have some lettering stickers already in the shop, but I'm really not happy with the fonts and the way I set the files up. Those sheets have I think about four or five different fonts on them and it's really time consuming to make new sheets and to set the cut lines up because I do make my design files in Photoshop and then put them in silhouette to make the cut files. I have to do a lot of manual cleaning up of the cut lines when I do trace the design. I've designed some new sheets that I'm so much happier with. There's a font that I started to use on the bonus sheet in the mystery kit that was really popular with people that received it and I thought I would run with that font and use it for this range. So I'll give you a quick look at the ones I've printed and cut so far because they are quite intricate sheets. I left a few cutting last night while I was still doing some design work so I have got a few printed and cut already which is really good. Here is a peek at some of these sheets that I've done already. So you can see this sort of curly font at the top is the one that was in the mystery kit that people liked 
And I've also now changed it to be the font that I use in kits for like date covers. And then this one below it is sort of a complementary font that's just in capitals and I thought they worked really well together so you've got two options on the sheets. I've also made it so when you have sort of a longer phrase and it takes up two lines, I've done a one line version down below so that you could use like this for half boxes and then this for quarter boxes. Hope that's in focus and then when it is a shorter phrase such as this one which is skincare i've just done them over and over the same so i'm releasing i think 24 um when i have got them all printed in cut i'll go through them in depth and show you them all i'm really happy with how these turned out and i'm so glad that i've got around to revamping the lettering because as i said the old ones are really inefficient to design and it basically meant that i would never release new ones i've just been for a walk with ari and had to post a letter what else have i done i've made a coffee in my mug, my favourite mug. I don't know if this is actually my favourite mug. This was from Debenhams probably about three years ago. I don't know if it, maybe even, probably not longer than that. Two or three years ago, I think this was from Debenhams. I love like these kind of big mugs because you just like know you're never gonna run out of space if you're making a particularly large drink. I also emailed the washi tape supplier. I don't know if I've said this. I really want to do more washi. Um, I'm gonna do some for my anniversary collection and maybe just some like generic ones but I needed to get in touch with them and find out information about prices and stuff. I wanted to do March Meet the Maker which is like an Instagram challenge set up by Joanne Hawker and I think it's an annual thing where you get a set of prompts for March and they're all basically about like your brand and your business and it's just a really fun challenge but I was very intimidated by it and about a week ago I was sure that I was definitely going to do it. I was like yep yeah, really can't wait for this because I feel like I'm kind of getting better at my Instagram at the minute and then it got to February 28th and I read the prompts again and I was like no I can't do it too scary so I didn't post for 1st of March and then Becca messaged me and she was like are you doing it and I was like no I don't think I can like I'm too scared um and she basically like encouraged me into it she was like you don't have to do every day I'm not going to do every day but like we can help each other and like bounce ideas off each other for the prompts and stuff so I was like okay I guess I'll do it um, and I'm glad I did it. I did do a post. The first day was brand introduction and then day two was style. So I posted about my new branding, which coincidentally was also designed by Becca. So I now have these set for branding colours. And then I just put a picture and a little sneak of the revamped website. So that was the post that I ended up doing. And I'm really glad I did it. I think it would be a really nice thing to look back on. And it is also like good to have it on your profile so people can see about your brand if they're new because like I don't really talk about planner face in terms of like the brand and like the history hardly ever so unless you followed me for like a few years you really don't know the journey of the business so I'm really glad that I'm going to give it a go um I just get a lot of imposter syndrome constantly even with the vlogs like there'll be clips in the vlogs where I'm just filming like normal and then suddenly like something washes over me and I'm like why would anyone want to watch this and I just turn the camera off and I can't do it and then it will be like a few hours later I'll go back to it and film and it'll be completely different and I feel fine um and <laughs> I'm really like weird about talking about how I feel about things like that but it was a big thing I also felt at uni like just feeling like you're not good enough and you don't belong and why would anyone care about what you have to say <laughs> So it's really bad, I need to work on it, but that's the thing. So that's basically how I felt with that. I was very overwhelmed and I was like, hmm, I don't need to do it. Like who would care about my posts? But yeah, that's a thing that definitely needs to be worked on, but I'm aware of it. And I think it's incredibly common, especially among small businesses and like freelancers and creatives and stuff. So just in case you feel like that too, uh, you're not alone. <laughs> I definitely feel like that a lot of the time and it's really hard to just like snap yourself out of it. Anyway, um, I also want to show you my new pens. I showed you them when I unboxed them, but this is my favourite one obviously, it's the purple one. And I saw these on Katnip's vlog. It's a black gel pen and it writes really nicely. Um, so I'm really happy I got those and I will link them down below. These are the five colours that came and they're so cute. Um, I'm just really happy with them and I thought they were just going to be pretty photo props if they weren't like actually nice pens. But honestly I kind of like them more than my Inkjoy gel. I am going to get cutting now because I reckon it might take me a lot of the day to cut. Aside from the lettering range I'm also doing one weekly collection and May monthly. So it's going to be quite a big release day.
good morning guys it's thursday right now and i have just finished taking photos of the new releases so i'm going to show you those in a minute i did get all my cutting done yesterday which was really good um i didn't know if i was going to but i managed to get it done so that's great the plan for the rest of the day is to do orders and then do a post run tomorrow i did run a 50 percent discount on the old lettering sheets so i've had a few orders for those come in which is good because i need to shift the stock so for this week's releases I've got the Serenity Weekly Kit, which is really pretty. It's like a park theme almost, like park and boat sort of theme. So this clip art box, you can see in the background, there's the ocean and like a little boat, um, a boat here with the swans, and then there's another boat. So it's a very like spring, summery theme, but I really love the colours, the blues and the aqua and the lilac. So that is the Serenity collection, and there was also a mini kit. This is the monthly collection, so it's pretty much the same, same kind of artwork and style. It's just in the monthly format. And my monthly kits are four pages. This is the first page. Got your second page with loads of functional bits on. The third page with more functional bits and full boxes. And then finally, you do have a big scene box to go on the sidebar if you don't wanna do a functional sidebar. And then these are extra boxes to fill up the days that aren't in the month. Moving on to the exciting lettering range, I have 24 sheets and I'm going to go in reverse order because that is just the order that they are in this pile and by reverse order I mean the screws. So we have clean, I'm going to try and speed run these, um, what does this even say? I can't read it on the viewfinder, workout, <laughs> post office coffee run and I think I explained this briefly yesterday but when there's like two words the top ones are going to be sized to sort of fit a half box and then these ones are sized to fit a quarter box. Happy mail, day shift, night shift and these were a request because the old style lettering sheet I have day and night shift on the same sheet and if you don't use like an equal amount of them it's not useful. Food shop, skincare, planning, Laundry, oh, what does that say? Take photos, <laughs> it's, it's like mirrored in the viewfinder. My camera just died as I was showing you them. It's gonna be one of those days, I think. Study, I'm gonna go through these really quick. Read, uh, wash hair, work from home, medication, upload, edit, film, delivery, day off, family time and payday. So those are the 24 sheets for the initial release. I've gone with like very standard quotes that we use in our planners and then I'll do sort of more fun, uh, less common ones as time goes on. So please let me know in the comments if you have any requests for different lettering sheets and I'll make a note of them and work through them. It just can't be anything copyrighted or like a brand name or a TV show or anything. I did have a few requests and I just can't do them. I'm really sorry, but it's too much of like a gray area. I don't wanna infringe on anything like that. So before my camera dies again, I'm just gonna go and do my orders now. I need to print the invoices and get started. And I need to design the March freebie. So I will do that first actually because I can't do the March orders without the March freebie but I'm pretty sure I'm going to do like a sampler of different texts, texts, a, a, a sampler of different texts, texts, why is that a weird word for me, texts, a sampler of different scripts. <laughs> I'm going to do that for this month. Normally I do different doodles, but I think it would be nice to break it up and sort of introduce the new range for March. So I'm going to go and do that now and then do orders.
Hi guys, it's Friday and new releases have just gone up. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. They look really good together on the website. I did a post run this morning and then I just came back and did the listings. So that's all I've really been up to so far. I'm thinking today I'm gonna try and edit the vlog up until like this point and then I'm probably gonna vlog tomorrow. I am planning to take Tuesday off next week because Ari is being neutered and I have the dentist. So I thought if I do a day of work at the weekend, I can take the Tuesday off and just like be with him and check on him and stuff. I'm gonna work on editing the vlog today and I also need to put the new scripts away. I found some dividers that I used to use for the doodles before I switched to the method I use now. I do cut the doodle dividers with my We Are Memory Keepers punch, but before I had that, I used to make them the same way that I make my other dividers. So I've got some leftover ones. So I'm gonna just repurpose them. I have the old screws on, so I need to take those off with nail varnish remover because I wrote on them in Sharpie and write the new ones on and then just find somewhere to put them where they're gonna be like accessible. I have realized that putting the doodles here is fine, but when they're further back on the shelf, I actually can't reach them very well. So I need to work out a solution for that. So that's the plan currently. I'm gonna edit the vlog and then sort the scripts out. just been designing the March mystery kit and I finished the full boxes and I'm so happy with how it's turned out it's basically exactly how I envisioned it when I made the mood board so I'm really pleased with that I'm gonna finish the rest of the kit and get it printed today so that I can start cutting it sort of next week ready to be shipped by the middle of March I'm also planning to play around a little bit with this which is Tom's graphics tablet and pen and I have a little idea that I want to play with to design some of the wash tapes but I'm not an artist so I'm not going to be doing anything massively technical with it but I do want to see if maybe I can do what I'm planning to do myself without having to commission an artist to do it for me because it's pretty simple but I'm sure I will still manage to not be able to do it. <laughs> I do purchase all of my clip art and commission my art from artists who are way more talented than me. I did art at school but like honestly I'm just like that's not my passion or my talent so I do tend to leave it to the professionals but I'm gonna give this a go and see how we get on because what I'm trying to do is relatively simple.
I'm going to be designing for the rest of the day so I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about anything you've seen. If you are new to the channel I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing. I do upload studio vlogs and small business related content every week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!